Boom. Okay. We are live on Facebook. Thank you for showing up. This is going to be a really fun call. It's Easy Steps to Daily Wellness. It's about clearing the fog of your mind. And who I'm interviewing today is the holistic pharmacist, which is Rosemary Pierce. So we're going to get started. I've got the recordings going. We got Facebook going. They'll be popping on. Guys, share this out if you know anybody at all that wants to learn some healthy, natural alternatives um, to being healthy. So share it out. If you have questions, pop them in. You can also show up um, on the uh, Zoom link, which is under events on the Facebook page, Teleart Gathering. So let's get her started. Hello, Rosemary Pierce, my Canadian neighbor, my cousins up north. We love you guys. I, I'm from Minnesota, in case you didn't catch my lovely accent. <laughs> Hi, Brandy. Glad to be with you today. Cool. I'm going to zip out of here because it's not about me. You don't need to be seeing me. And take it away. We're on Facebook. I'll let you know if I get questions. Um, and we're also on Zoom. So either place people want to show up, feel free to show up. Well, I will just do that. Thanks so much. Thanks for the intro and for having me on your wonderful Tell Art Gatherings, what I call the, the Body, Mind and Soul Summit because, and I'm kind of working with the body part today. And I'm working for, with the body part, not just the, to sort of heal or get a result on the physical body, but to support us on all levels. Because knowing that I'm a spiritual being, this is my vessel. So if there's things I can do to improve my vessel and help others do that, well, that's where um, I'd like to contribute. So I'm going to start by just taking a look at daily habits, because this talk is about clearing the brain fog, energizing, energizing oneself. And a lot of that is tied into the habits that we do. And we do lots of habits that um, on a regular basis to promote health. We're going to do exercise, stretching, especially as we get older. I'm now 67, and um, I know how important it is that I just can't jump out of bed and go. I need to do a bunch of things. And you know those what? Things That's so important that you're talking about that because I'm in my mid-50s, even though you know I definitely don't act my age at all. But the one thing I found is so many people are on computers and that if you don't get up and stretch, it was one of my biggest problems. I actually had to go and get an adjustment from um, not chiropractors. I don't like right. that, but it's really important. And my, my dad is going to be 90 is the one who said, well, you need to every day stretch and punch like I do. My dad, yeah. leads, he leads exercises at 90 at the apartment complex. <laughs> How are they live? Yeah, and, and you know, with that stretching, if a person isn't really taking care of themselves in other ways, the stretching can actually be a little bit dangerous. So let me go into explain about that. First of all, though, I have what I call some daily rituals, steps to really to wellness. And the part with the stretching or the exercise excellent to do in the morning we also need the hydration we need the fluids to nourish our body and then it's even possible to eat closer to noon i'm not necessarily a big proponent of uh, three squares and uh, three snacks in between um, keeping our blood sugar high all day so i've been working a lot with this what's called intermittent fasting but the first step is really getting the fluids in. So the fluids are what we're looking for. Um, as most of you know, I'm a pharmacist. That was my original profession. I'm now considered a holistic pharmacist because where I do my work is research, formulation, and education in the health industry. I work a lot with health retailers in Canada. Um, and you know, as somebody that's been in the public eye, helping people and getting the feedback, what I do recognize is that 
large amounts of people are searching for health outside of what the regular modern, modern medical model can offer. Um, but they have busy lives. And so when I sometimes tell them to do things, I have to look at how to get that to them in a way that they can easily do it. So I'm always looking for what's not the minimum, but what's going to give us the best results for the least effort. Mm -hmm. And getting in some routines are and simple, very simple routines. So I, I developed this particular slide a while ago. And I, I love this slide because I love water. And not only water in, in, internally, which is, I mean, we're 70% water. So the water and what's in it that we take in is going to be one of our most important things. And then the next things are the nutrients. So all of the, the colors in our food, very important. Now, if we could combine these two and make healthy drinks, and it can be easy, as you would say, Brenny, easy peasy, just give it to me, I just, I'm on the run. So what can I do? So short, simple steps um, is what I'm about. And then using food, food that can be easily prepared and comfortable and creating and maintaining balance. So it's always about balance and keeping, keeping oneself hydrated and high dense nutrient foods together. And if you can combine those in a drink to start um, and then focus on food, not three meals a day, but two meals a day, maybe over, if you eat over 12 hour period, start to minimize that to 10 hours and then to eight hours. I do my best to keep between eight and six hours of eating. That will really help a lot of your blood sugar issues and weight issues. So now let's take a look at step one, which is tied up with this hydrating and alkalizing, which we're going to just title pH balance. So how can pH balance really help us? And I know Brenny and I have been talking about this a bit ourselves. Um, just uh, just the whole idea of becoming alkaline. So the benefits of becoming alkaline, first of all, it's the energy. It's the waking up. I love this picture that I have here because here is, is a gal that's just greeting the day and greeting the day and focusing on what makes us feel good is important. And we have to have that energy to do it. And if so, if a person's waking up extremely lethargic, you know, they've got fuzz in their mouth and their body's not moving. Well, you know, what can you do? And that's a picture of me. That's who you have a picture of because that's how I wake up. I get up and I'm like, yay, the sun is up. How great is this? But my sister don't talk to her for two hours. She's one of those. Right. Well, you know, both you, you do that because of a type of energy that you have inside of you. Some people don't can't naturally do that, but they can train themselves to do that oh. by by actually getting the body balanced in a better way. And if they don't wake up right away in this state, bringing in alkalizing, hydrating, drinking will uh, drinks will really help so it's the body function as well it's not just energy it's like the way the body and the brain will turn on and um in order to do that you know we do need also i mean i know you probably need to also meditate because you've got a very high energy yeah so to help balance you you would need to meditate but if you want to meditate you have to be able to focus if you want to focus your brain has to be enter it has to have oxygen and it has to have nutrients and and actually a lot of our energy goes uh from our sugar you know our just natural uh body sugars that we need go into brain function and a lot of that's going to give us oxygen so we know that breathing exercises do that, but getting the, the cells oxygenated will not happen effectively if our pH is out of balance. 
also the, the mental focus, we talked about that, and the digestive system. It, there are three areas that I'm focusing on through my career and trying to land, helping to land really what I would consider important information. And one would be to keep the body pH balanced because then we're always in a healing state and a regenerating state to work with the digestive system and also to work with our cognition, our, our, our brain wellness, uh, the, how our mind is working and, and um, to keep it in a tip top shape, not just preventing diseases, but also increasing our ability to perform. So I'm hoping, you know, we'll have talks on the digestion and, and the cognitive wellness along the way sometime. Um, and when your pH balance, you do help activate your digestive system. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a recipe for a drink before we finish this. And it will help all of these things. It's a very simple way um, to get your pH balance first thing in the morning. And for those of you that are not active in your bowel movements, um, this drink will help. So it's not only um, supporting the brain, but supporting the, the second gut, which is our uh, digestive system. Speaking of which, my, my animal has been the horse. And um, we're, we haven't chatted about that too much, but I'd like to bring the totem animal that I chose, which is the horse in here, because the horse has a huge enteric nervous system. If you look at their bellies, they're large, their bellies. And that belly is large because it's got a sensitivity to their environment. So our digestive systems are like that, protecting and helping our digestive systems, getting that the flow going and, and having regular bowel moves, extremely important. That's all I'm gonna say about digestion right now, but it's a huge topic and well, love to you know what more. I think it's a big topic also is like I'm you know I'm not on any kind of meds at all. It just my natural one that you gave me for my sinuses, but I have realized because I do pills for my parents and it, boy, pills really have an impact on your flow, if you want to say it, going yeah. to the bathroom. Yeah. It can really not top a, you up. Not only that, Brenny, is, is all medications, or I, I would say 99.9% .9 medications, are acidic. Mm. So they contribute to the acidity of the body and of course we're working towards alkalinity the biggest contributor to acidity of course is the diet but there are others and medications will do that um, and of course medications also affect the liver um, and when your pH balance you're helping to detoxify your whole body there's a huge part of, of um, doing a detox or cleansing program that I love to uh, help people with by adding in and explaining how to properly alkalize. And the liver, the liver, our most important organ, has 400 different jobs along. One of them is detoxifying. So, and then the stiffness and tightness in muscles. And for those of, of um, the uh, individuals who want to continue and do uh, the um, Zoom call with me where we can talk about this in more details, I'll look at how to relieve PMS and cramping and muscle tension and all the little niggly things that a person notices, like the splits in their nails and why, why they have cracks in their heels or, or even pain in their bones. Those are all indications that the body is out of pH balance. And this, I love this term, blissipline oneself. Yeah. So, you know, just, just to create bliss. And how can we do that if our body is dragging? So that's, you know, that's what I'd like to start with and take a look at how to create healthy moods and a, and a positive state of mind. And, and we're going to do that by looking at pH. So I had I, no idea, Rosemary, that stiff muscles, because every once in a while, like I'll go through a phase and my legs will hurt so bad. Like I'll go take a hot Epsom salt bath because my yeah. muscles are so tight and I'm like, no, why are they this tight? 
and just recently I've always had really great nails, but I went through a phase where they were just like paper and they just ripped and, and were cracked. And my dad went through the same thing and he goes, Oh, it must be because it's cold outside. And I go, well, I've gone through winter before and I have never had this happen. So this is really an awesome call for me. Um, uh, personally, I, I love this stuff guys. Um, you, you're going to want to watch this replay if uh, because what she's going to cover is about having the uh, t the strips, the pH level strips, so you can really apply this information. I've got to get mine. I've just been real busy. I planned on having it, but it didn't. I didn't get to it. So this is a really important information. So make sure um, to get your little what do you call them? pH levels. They're pH paper. Uh, it's a pH paper roll, and actually, I'm going to bring it up, but it's a little thing like this with pH paper. First, before we go to that, which we'll, I'll bring up on my next slide, let's take a look at the pH chart and bring people back to their basic chemistry, um, to just to take a look at this chart for a second, because the pH, measuring your pH, and when you do a... Um, an actual pH measure, what you're doing is you're measuring the alkalinity or the acidity of a substance, of a liquid. So typically in chemistry, the pH is going to go between 0 and 14. 14 being the most alkaline and 0 being the most acid. Now, right in here, can you see my pointer as yeah, I'm talking? One yeah. And two. Uh -huh. yeah, it's pH between 1 and 2 is where maybe actually let's say between one and three, that's where our pH would be in our stomach at an hour after eating a meal with protein and fats in it. Hmm. So, you know, there are times when acidity is good, but only in the stomach, really, for the body. In our body, in our body fluids, remember I said 40% of our body is, is, is liquid, it's fluid. And those fluids, for the most part, have a, a range of pH. And the urine is a good indication of what's going on in our body. And we don't, we'll never be down here, but we're going to be in this 5 to 8 range. So when I show you pH paper, it's going to be not sensitive to 0 to 14, but only sensitive and kind of the scale in the middle is being expanded. Mm. Because what we're doing but when we measure the urine pH to know if, our, if we're pH balanced, we're actually getting a reading of our blood. So it's a reflection of the blood in the urine if we do it very specifically. Now part of, I'm covering it orally here, right? So people who take things in more through the written word, part of the special offer that when you um, click on my special offer that Brenny has on her page, you'll see that I've given a, a really detailed explanation of how to do this, right? And do we have, that's part of my gift. Um, and let's take a look at this pH paper now. So here's the sensitivity range, 5.5 to 8. So one thing I'd like to say about this pH paper is uh, this is Prairie Naturals uh, variety. So um, it doesn't, it, you, if you're in the States and you're looking for this, you won't find this particular brand, but you'll find this roll. And it, on the other side, it kind of looks like this. Right, so you have just a roll of paper. Um, in Canada, this is a very common uh, product you can buy. And as part of my special offer, I've given for those who are uh, isolated or can't find pH paper from a health food store, there's a, uh, I, I asked a Canadian online distributor to give a really nice big discount to people who anywhere who want who want to order it so you can order it with with a very big discount and you'll get that as part of the special offer a link to be able to do that for yourself and not that i'm particularly wanting you to buy a whole bunch of product or anything i just wanted to have an, a way for people to access ph paper because i know brenny you don't have any at home and you're waiting for yours to come 
right? Yep. The, the people live in the woods and not everyone has uh, health food stores that actually carry lots of items. You know, when you live in a small town in the woods, yeah. that yeah. happens. Yeah. And boy, getting things online is how you sometimes yeah. <laughs> get things. <laughs> So I thought I would try and, and simplify it for those who want to do this test. Um, very specifically, they're going to they, they, you have an outline for it, but I'll go over it here. So the way to test to make sure that you accurately know your pH of your blood is, excuse me, is to do the urine test, not the mouth test, uh, first thing in the morning in the morning the little heat cups you go in here so first thing in the morning when you wake up after resting and not urinating for six hours now i don't know about you but for some people that's a bit of an issue so i've gone into explaining that you there are different ways that you can get around that but basically over the night let's say you went to bed at 12 oops i'll get back there went to bed at 12 got up at uh at six or eight, you've had a good six to eight hours of rest. The kidneys are doing their darndest to balance our blood over that rest period. So they're taking all of the acids and neutralizing them and then pushing them out in the urine. If they've got enough of the alkaline minerals and buffering agents to do it, if they don't, They'll still push the, the um, acids out and they'll show up on the pH paper of the urine. So the average urine reading in the morning should be somewhere above where I've got my little pointer here, which is the 6.4 and above. So the 6.4 to the 7.4 is the range we're looking for with the first urine of the morning so what i call first dash morning urine and so the idea is you put this roll of ph paper in your bathroom right where you go pee first thing in the morning and then take a piece just a little strip i usually do that big if you're really stingy you can cut it in half and then you just pee on your fingers <laughs> We're so high class here, aren't we, people? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I have a question um, because I know that you need to have minerals. But a lot of people take vitamins and they're pee in that bright orange. It very. You know what, what I'm that? Saying? It looks like that? Mountain Dew, the color of Mountain Dew, and I've known <laughs> you know that because I used to be that person, and it's like so then I found out about you know oh you got to have min minerals to help process it, or you're just peeing through all the vitamins. Is that true? Well, it is a vitamin. Usually, it's vitamin B's because the the breakdown products of vitamin B's, especially um, things like well beta carotene will do it, but also um, which it would be in the um, the vitamin B1, B2, B3 range, those tend to have, give a urine color of yellow as a byproduct. Usually you're not peeing them out unless you're taking huge amounts at one time and the body can't use them. What we're interested is not so much the color, unless a person is not drinking enough and then their urine is really strong and colored because they're not drinking enough. That's a good indication of having enough fluids. You know, we an ideal, just to segue here for a minute, an ideal amount of fluids to have a day would be to take your body weight. So let's say a person is... I um, weigh 200 pounds. <laughs> okay. I know. So, I have no, you know, it's like, you know what I look like. So, yeah. You, know, I you can pounds. see 200 pounds there. Anyway, Brenny, you weigh 200 pounds. So now let's cut that in half and change that to ounces. That's 100 ounces of water. Okay. I that. So that's three, for, for us Canadians, that's roughly three liters or more. For you, um, that if we look at at the quarts, it would be like three quarts. Yeah, I drink that much water. We're big water drinkers in our family. My mom has always had us drink water. So now, 
drinking the water is great. Now we have to make sure that through what you're putting in your water or what you're eating, that you're getting the alkaline minerals and you're getting the buffering agents that are going to keep your pH balanced. If you drank that as distilled water and didn't really focus on healthy um, foods and, and um, drinks that are going to give you those minerals, uh, your pH would, it wouldn't work for your pH. So, and of course, you know, we have that whole water test, which also shows that certain bottled waters are, are fooling people as well. Oops. Oh, shame oh, oh. on them for doing that, right? What she's talking about, I tagged her on Facebook that a lady tested all these different waters. And did you notice the ones that were the most expensive were the ones that not necessarily were yeah yeah and so it's not what you spend on the bottled water not necessarily that's right so let's go back to the ph paper let's assume people are drinking adequately and um in the morning when they get up to pee they they use this ph paper and what you want to do is just quickly dip it in the urine stream or pick up a drop you don't want to leave it there because it'll just wash it and bleach it out. So you want to have a little moisten, I call it moisten it with urine. You moisten it with urine and then you see how the color changes. So if we're in the healthy range, as I said, it'll be 6.4 to 7.4. Just like with blood pressure and temperature, you don't want to be too low and you don't want to be too high. So there's a range and that range is the range of the urine that helps to reflect the what's happening in the blood. And our blood is so important to stay pH balanced within a very narrow range of around 7.35, 7.35 to about 7.45, depending on which type of blood it is, arterial or venous. So it's supposed to stay in that range. And if we go out of it, by more than a point one or two, we're actually in a coma and in the hospital. Wow. So the doctors, doctors know in emergency all about checking the blood for pH. They would check it directly. We're do, but what we're doing is we're not looking at that gross, huge issue. We're looking at this ability to stay in that balanced range all of the time without going just slightly out into an acidic state because it's the acidic state below 6.2 and below that really causes an issue now this is a logarithmical scale which might not mean a lot to people but it's not one one unit is is the same just one unit apart each time you move a uh say from a one one unit, complete unit from five to six, or say from six to seven, it's a times 10. Ooh. So if you, difference between six and eight is a times 100, because it's two units, right? So this scale is, don't look at it and think, oh, I'm only 6.2, so I'm pretty close and I'm okay. Um, you definitely want to get to the 6.4, because the amount, every time you move, a, a unit down you you've got a huge difference so um yeah so then what i'm asking people to do is use this ph paper first thing in the morning when you do that reading here's what it's going to give you it's going to give you how well your body's over the last 24 hours so the day before how well you did in ph balancing it's going to help you almost like a detective and extremely motivating if you see that you're always down here in the yellow. Matter of fact, I have people tell me, my pH paper can't be working. It must be too old because it never changes color. Well, look at the color of that pH paper. It's yellow, right? And when it doesn't, and, and it moves very little if, you're, if you've got a lot of acids in your urine. So... If a person's down here, they, it really helps to motivate them to get themselves back up into balance. So, so let's what, take a look. how would they feel then if they're just 
weigh at like 5.5? Is that where they're lethargic and they're having the muscle cramps and all the symptoms that we talked about earlier? Is that it, what's going on when it's low? It, it can be. It can be the major reason why a person is, or there could, as I said, you have to be a little bit of a detective. It could be low, like the symptoms would usually be low energy, brain fog, um, and, and the symptoms, like you expressed something that was so valuable about the nails. If a person notices a change in their nail and all of a sudden their nail is splitting, it's not hard like it used to be, they're getting cracks in their heels, you know, they, they, their muscles are tight, they, that means that they're, they've gone out of pH balance for quite a while. It takes three months or so to, to grow your nail out. But when you're doing your pH paper, you can pick up those imbalances months before they actually show, if not years before they show. And here's one of the biggest things, especially for women who are concerned about bone density, about losing their bone as they get older. The biggest cause of, of that is this low-grade ongoing acid condition. Mm. And I'll explain more about that. But it is this is the test for people who want to prevent um, bone loss or help to re-establish um, bone. Because you can do it. You can, you can build your bone density back up. But we do not want to have that um, calcium coming out of the bones, trying to replace the minerals that we need to be taking in through our diet. So, um, oh, I'm just gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. go back just for a second because I wanna say something before I move into my, um, how to start helping yourself uh, balance pH. First of all, it's to do the test to see where you are because if you find yourself imbalanced, then it's like, okay, what does that mean? Here's what it means. It means that you do not have enough minerals in your body to neutralize and buffer the acids. So you have low minerals. So if you have low minerals, how is the body going to try and balance? It's going to take minerals from the only place we really have a mineral store, and that's our bones. Oh. And that's how osteoporosis and low bone density ties in with pH. Because calcium is our biggest mineral in, in, in the bones, and the body will use that to balance, take it right out of the bones, and use it to balance our um, blood pH, given that we'll die if the blood pH doesn't stay in balance. So this is to me information that most women who maybe are you know doing thinking they're doing everything right but not checking to see if their pH is balanced. Where were you a few months ago lady because I had all exactly those symptoms. My fingernails were really just paper thin and ripping which usually I have really super strong nails. Cracks in my heel cuz I'm like what's going on? I went and got some miracle lotion and stuff. Yeah. The outside. <laughs> I mean, everything you're talking about, it's like that. That's exactly so. Now I know that I was out of balance and I have been out of balance because I thought I was having the muscle cramps at the same time. Yeah. So this is why, you know, if a person does this ongoing, there's 15 feet of paper in this roll. If you use those small pieces, it's going to last 100 to 120 or so tests. So you could test you know, for, it's going to cost a roughly about $10. And then, you know, depending on where you get it, you can even get it more reasonable. You want to make sure you have this type of paper, though, not the stuff you would buy at a pharmacy that that's for a larger range. So you, so that's why I want to show the picture is to, so that you have this range. Do it every morning. Because let's say all of a sudden you start a new exercise program, your pH has been ticketing boo along really fine, and then all of a sudden you can't get above that 6.4. What's going on is that your exercise program through heavy breathing and panting is creating acids. There's acids being produced in your muscles, and you have to adjust your diet wow. to accomplish. 
This is so interesting. This is something you should be taught when you're little in school, in health class, because it doesn't take a lot. It's just like telling you ahead of time what's going on because I waited. So how long was I out of balance and what impact did that have on me? That's, that's just wild. I can't believe this stuff. So if we look at daily habits, I'm going to talk about now how we start to correct this. But taking the pH in the morning as a daily habit can really help you. First of all, you might think, oh, I eat well and I, you know, I drink and I take you know, whatever you do. You might think you do it, but try the pH paper and see. That is your definitive test. And when you look at that pH paper and it's turning yellow, then what's going to happen is you're going to hear me say, uh-oh, Rosemary said that means I'm low minerals. But you're not only low minerals, you're low oxygen. Low oxygen being carried to the cells, that's why the brain is not going into gear and the muscles are so stiff. We need the oxygen to get the muscles going and we need the minerals. So this will, this will tell you if you're actually in balance. And remember, it's, it's a range. So it's not a good idea to be over the 7.4 either. We won't go into details about that right now. If people spend some more time with me, I can, I can do some more in depth if they have their test over. But it is a healthy range. Most people would be below the 6.4. And the average North American is not pH balanced. If they're eating a North American diet, then this is a great way to motivate to change your diet. And what else I've given on my free gift is an alkaline forming food chart. You might, I don't know whether you noticed that, but I have one that, and um, here it is. Here it is. This is part of my free gift that you'll have a PDF of this, which will tell you the foods to eat. Wow. So these, these foods are where if you're in that yellow, below 6.4 range consistently, then focus on these foods about 75% of your diet. So the food charts there, the written how to do your pH, a discount if you want to end up, if you can't find pH paper and want alkaline, other alkaline foods. Whoops, this is sensitive stuff. She's having okay. fun with her little slideshow. I want to make a comment because I'm sure, I haven't talked to you about this, but I'm sure you're going to be open to it, is, um, we have one more week of speakers next week, and then the following week, which would be the week of February 5th um, through the 11th, uh, yeah. what we're going to do is the um, speakers are going to pop on, and we're just going to maybe even more than one, like people's talks that go together, whatever. Mm -hmm. Very casual, guys. We want you to show up. And they're just going to answer questions. Normally, you would do a week of replays in a gathering like this, but I do things different because to me, it's important to get the information out. Uh, I've been in a lot and I'm in a series right now, and it's like your talk is up for 24, 48 hours. That does not make sense to me in any way. It's like, how do they get the information? So, I want everyone to know that this recording will A, be on Facebook in the Teleart Gathering page. So it's facebook.com yeah. forward slash Teleart Gathering. It's going to be on uh, Rose Marie's speaker page, which is teleartgathering.com forward slash Rose Marie Pierce. It's her whole name. That's what it wanted. It wouldn't let me just do Rose Marie. And I'm putting that on the um, live stream for Facebook right there so you can see that. Um, and that guys, follow me on YouTube. I also have it on the YouTube channel. I make it so you can watch this information because it's, yes, if you want to invest and look at this later, it's $17 for all the recordings. But to me, it's important you get this information. So I highly suggest you get those uh, pH little strips, whether you get them, she was kind and got a really good deal for us. Otherwise, if you have a health food store, 
And if you have questions, go post it in the Facebook group and she'll answer them if you want to make sure you get the right one. We're very interactive and we want to help you. She's taking this time because this is important. I mean, I never knew I was that unhealthy. Here I'm thinking I cook all my own food. I eat local, huh? You know, local honey. And we have, you know, a guy who has a, a buffalo farm. So I hear I'm, th and I'm like, well, why are my nails weak? Why am I getting muscle cramps? I'm drinking a ton of water. So one of, yeah, one so of the things, one of the things that when I do my um, my Zoom live calls, if people want to go further, is I'm also going to look at how other aspects like stress, how stress plays into this, because you're a high energy person, but you can also do too much and get into stress and that that shuts down digestion so there's lots of areas what i'm giving here is as much of like here's your first steps this is where you right. start and aware, to be aware that i was a mess my ph was <laughs> off there, there's step one awareness yeah, people. <laughs> let's take a look at a few things that are easy peasy for people to do some lemon. things that they pick to help them and the first thing is lemon juice love it you'll notice there's a picture on here of me with a whole bunch of lemons and that's because i love lemons and lemons are something that i've worked with both in this drink that I'm going to give on um, on our third slide over. By the way, will this PowerPoint also be, it'll be available when they do a yeah, replay. I can, I can easily upload the PowerPoint slides themselves on your speaker page. So, Good. Then they so, can download it or watch them there, whatever. Yeah, we can do that. So lemon juice, uh, you can't un overestimate the value of lemon juice. And as a formulator, I've also worked with lemon juice, but right now we're going to look at just the uh, like pure lemon juice, especially organic lemons, because you want to get the highest quality minerals and the least effect um, um, being affected by pesticides and chemicals. Because of course, all chemicals along with medications are acidic. So we want the the we want this natural uh, actually acidic acidity that's found in lemon juice the natural organic acids that are in lemons. Now people will say, well, how can lemons alkalize your body? They're acidic, and all citrus is acidic, and all citrus contain these little tiny organic acids. And now these acids aren't organic as in pesticide and herbicide free, they're organic, they're a type of acid, a natural acid found. Citric acid is the biggest one in lemons. So there's, not only do lemons have the minerals that they do, especially potassium, a very important alkalizing mineral, but they also have this, these little acids. The acids are actually acidic going in the body. So if you hold lemon in your mouth, it's, it's going to dissolve the, the enamel of your teeth. It would, it'll, it'll be like if you have a canker sore, it will open that canker sore up. So of course, going in and for the first hour or so that you've um, taken lemon, it's going to be acidic, which is kind of a good thing given our stomach is acidic and it can really help our digestive juices. But now, do you need to eat, do you need to eat the lemons? Like I like to squeeze lemons. Like I like um, eating um, Mexican food, and I like to squeeze lemons on like avocados. And like I was eating avocado tacos yesterday, you and I put lemon, a bunch of lemon. Any, on. You can lemonize anything. Can I ask right? one more one more question that's in my head? Is about I keep seeing that people are buying those jars of lemon juice for a buck. Those aren't what you're talking about you want real fresh lemons right that's I mean, obvious well, to me but you it, uh, there's a couple of things about this the lemons in a box can be very good for cleaning you know external cleaning <laughs> getting an organic fresh lemon is ideal but whatever lemon you're getting you want it to be very pure so for example, when I've made a lemon drink, I've used lemons made for baby food in Europe. I don't know if you know about baby food in Europe, but it's the most protected food we have in the wow. world. No, and that's so I, good to know. That's really good to know. Thank you. Yeah. I've used a lemon made in Switzerland that's that's got all of the the tests done to it to be sure it contains nothing. But 
really you can also use fresh lemons and a lot of people do it just depends on 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 how deeply you want to get other minerals in so right now let's just focus on the lemons uh, lemons are going to do all of these things that i talked about earlier as far as helping the body to alkalize and the key to it is the citric acid in it so there's at least five percent citric acid in lemons and that citric acid goes in acidic, but when it gets in the body, it actually turns to an alkaline substance. Hmm. And it can work with the kidneys to help make buffering agents. And these are bicarbonates. Remember, you've heard me talk about bicarbonates. And bicarbonates are something that the, the kidneys can produce. And citric acid is like the base of producing those. So... Taking in lemons first, especially first thing in the morning, because that's when we're most acidic hmm. and that's when our body needs to hydrate, get these muscles going, get our brain in gear. Now, another, I'd just like to add another great substance to use. Whoops, I can see it's a little bit. Uh, I've got She's a wild on. clicker. I thought I was the wild clicker. I, it's her, people. <laughs> so much more sensitive than I'm usually. <laughs> it's like, wow. Anyway, the other substance is organic aloe vera juice or our, at sometimes aloe vera gel. If you get, you can use this as well. So in the morning, if you use an ounce of aloe vera, the juice of half a lemon, add it into water. Um, what you're going to do is get more minerals first of all but get all of those healing properties that we find in aloe and aloe and lemon both work with the liver they help detoxify the liver they help heal the digestive system and you're going to get the minerals and get the alkalizing uh, hydrating part and i've gotten a lot of people off coffee first thing in the morning now, coffee's got a lot of health benefits if it's good coffee done maybe in the, in the way where you're combining it with um, uh, coconut oil or, or um, organic grass-fed butter and really making a healthy coffee drink. But hydration is the first thing. So hydrating. And then you can also hydrate midday if... If you don't want to stimulate your body with coffee, you can hydrate midday by using another drink. You could use this drink at night in less water, like a cup of water, to help you sleep. So there are many ways, but first of all, it's check your pH in the morning and then get not just water in you, but hydrating. Now here is, here is my recipe. This is exciting. So I've never even heard of that aloe vera juice. I can't wait to go spend some money. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not a shopper, but I like to shop for healthy things like this. You're really bringing awareness to me because I had no idea about any of this stuff at all. Well, that was my hope is that I would reach God a number of people, you. a number of people that haven't been aware of how easy it is they can start their day and create more energy for themselves. So this is the recipe. Uh, there's a little history behind this recipe. Um, the, my whole family is in the natural health industry, owning manufacturing and formulation. And, and as a holistic pharmacist, I've been very much involved in that. And we make a lot of green drinks, a lot of uh, wonderful alkalizing green drinks. And my brother said to me one day, you know, Rosemary, you're telling people to use this recipe and put their green drinks in, which I do. I did all the time. I've developed this recipe um, out of a number of different sources some, oh, gee, almost 20 years ago now, Brenny. So... And I was, um, and so I, I take the lemon and I would take the aloe vera juice because you can buy aloe vera juice, put it together, add a little maple syrup, very dark maple syrup, the, you know, the stuff that's got the most minerals in it. Or person can use nowadays, we can get really good liquid stevia drops. Hmm. And those are low tasting um, and they're no sugar. So if somebody wants no sugar at all, and, and then they can use those. And then have you heard of Celtic or Himalayan salt? I do. I use uh, Himalayan yeah. salt. 
Yes. Well, these salts, especially for me, the Celtic, that's the one I, I, I work with most, but both have the trace minerals that we're missing. And then, and then you can add green powders. If you have green powders at home, let's say um, chlorella, spirulina, fermented grasses like wheatgrass or barley grass, those are the ones, or vegetable powders, you can bury them in this drink. So if you want to fortify and even cause more alkalinity and that's something a person can kind of fool around with and and make their own sort of special mixture but the lemon aloe vera uh, with the celtic salt is the base so anyway the way my story goes is i was serving this every time we would get together and i would do trainings and and i and um, working with the green powders i would make this this drink up and my brother said to me, well, you know, Rosemary, you could put this in a powder. And that's exactly what I did. So here's the recipe. It's on my website for anybody who wants it. But if they want something that they can actually just, you know, mix, mix in water and have all of this in it, plus more, because I was able to get more minerals and use stevia rather than the maple syrup. Um, and, do you and need do you need the maple syrup or the stevia? Is it just to make it taste good, or are those important ingredients in there? Good, good question, Brandy. They're there to help people who really don't like sour. <laughs> so, if you put this in two cups of water, the juice of half a lemon, most people can handle that. But if you need it to to make it taste a bit better. Um, yeah, and, and my drink tastes like lemon. Uh, when you use the, really, if you use pure lemon juice powder and you've got the, and the, the juice in it um, of half a lemon, it's going to taste like lemon. The only time, <clears throat> so the sweetener is just a bit of um, palatability, possibly. Doesn't have to be in there. You're right. But um, if a person really wants to get benefit from this, it's to put it in almost two cups or almost two cups of water because it's the hydration part. And anyone can drink this. It's not like you have to say, go check with your doctor or anything like that. This is a healthy drink. That yes. I just want to make sure because, you know, I have a mother on 16 uh, medications right now. I love Rosemary. I want to thank her daughter, Amanda Lee. I have no idea how I found Amanda Lee. Amanda Lee. The universe just plopped her in one day. She was in the last series, and then um, she introduced me to her mom, and I was like, I am learning so much in just these little things, but it's important to me to make sure that it's okay for everybody. To me, it looks like it, but I never assume anything, because I believe the word assume if you look at it, it says ass of you and me. That means that you can't assume things, guys. Always ask questions. You know why I'm a great interviewer? Because God intended me to be an interviewer, I believe, because I always ask questions. You can ask my parents about that. I'm sure I drove them crazy as a kid. But th I just want to make sure because this is a simple recipe. I understand people. Would this drink be good for athletes is what the question on Facebook. Oh, what, what a beautiful question to ask. I'm so glad they put that in there. Yes, 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 yes is the answer. Because if that, if we've got an athlete on the, uh, 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 you know, on the question, they know that the amount of oxygen getting into their muscles while they're in their athletic performance or doing their run or whatever they're doing um, will, uh, is so important. And if your body is pH imbalanced, if you're in the acidic range going into an exercise, you could carry up to 20 times less oxygen to your cells. So by alkalizing before, what you're doing is actually helping the body to have the best chance to get oxygen into those cells. And you take this on an empty stomach. Don't mix it with food or anything that's going to slow it down and hold it in the stomach. Oh, yeah. But it can also be used after. And when you use it after, what you're doing is mopping up the acidic uh, uh, production, the acidic waste that's produced from exercising. Every time we pant, 
it's because there's too much carbon dioxide in relation to oxygen and the panting is automatic. If you're panting, there's no stopping it until the body's mechanism that uh, stops it. And so if that carbon dioxide doesn't get all released, which usually it doesn't, it forms carbonic acid in the bloodstream and puts the whole body out of balance. So post-exercise, it will mop up the acidity in the blood, get the body back into balance, and will actually help the muscles release lactic acid. I was a distance runner, so I know all about lactic acid. Mm. Believe me, I wish I would have had this recipe. Um, but I didn't, yeah. we didn't even know about uh, chlorella or spirulina or vegetable powers, no. powders when I grew up. We The rest maybe, but yeah, yeah. water so would have been it. I want to go back, before we finish, Brenny, I just want to go back to the drug aspect. As a pharmacist, um, I, I just, I need to address that. Whenever anybody's on a large amount of medications and it involves their kidneys or their blood pressure, they should check with their doctor before doing anything that is wild, wildly out of their routine. Now, if you asked your doctor if you could put lemon in water and drink it and um, add some aloe vera juice in it, most likely he would say no problem. But there are a few types of blood pressure issues where you're not supposed to increase your potassium. And in that case, most people would know that they that whether they could take this or not well my mother and, takes three potassium tablets a day two in the morning and one in the afternoon i will still take this recipe to her doctor and check on it but i want to yeah. do anything i can to help her out because it, yeah i've got so another you, question real quick about can children drink this formula yes Children can, and matter of fact, a lot of, I've known, because as I say, I've been working for either the, the actual made uh, powdered version or the, the, the drink mix for about 20 years, and often parents will, will do that. They, they can give them, as long as a person's not allergic to aloe vera, and you know the aloe vera plant that grows, it, it grows in Arizona and arid places, and really what's happening is, is the inside um, gel is being used to and made into a, into a liquid with water. And get a pure one. Don't, if a person's getting this, just make sure that they're not putting um, preservatives and stuff in it. But get a pure organic aloe vera juice. And um, Do you use saw that on your website too? Actually, I put aloe vera powder in in a drink mix and if they if a person goes to my website they can take a look at what i've done to create a drink that's that's convenient for people to do in the morning and what i use now i started out by using this recipe but i wanted to really get as many minerals in as could be so i've also created a powder uh, a powder drink mix available in canada or available online if people want it but the point is is that we're trying to get people to understand the importance of a high amount of fluids and the value of lemon first thing in the morning and when you add the aloe vera you get the extra properties of healing the digestive system working with the liver and getting those extra minerals in so being a person who always makes gifts and things to me in my mind's eye what popped in my head is what great gifts is get some little pea strips and get all these and put them in a box and give that as gifts for birthdays and christmas this is how, this is the kind of gifts you get from me <laughs> <laughs> but it's important i mean if they just have and they can check their ph level get your free gift so they understand how to um, adjust things, what foods to eat, and then do this drink in the morning. To me, just those little things, I yeah. mean, that's huge. Yeah, and also, uh, Brenny, what you'd put in with that gift would be my alkaline-forming food chart that you can pull off the and, and, and print 
the directions that I've put together to how to do pH. And also, if a person wants to take a look for the next two weeks, I've set up this special 25% off um, online coupon. Um, go take a look, see, and, and, and see where you can get your pH paper and how you want to um, make this drink. Here's, I'd like to just end by talking um, about how important this idea of, of, of getting a drink and creating a refreshed rebalance and restore time. If we look at the very first step to daily wellness, it is this alkalizing and hydrating way. And then watch what happens when you do your yoga or your exercise or your meditation and see the difference between being out of pH balance and being hydrated and, and alkalized. This is really exciting to me. Like I can't wait to share this with my students in my chakra feng shui class because it's all about balancing the exterior and the interior. And we, we use yoga, movement, tai chi. We use musical notes because you are 70 to 80% water and you can shift your vibration. Something this simple, this is just wild. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Are, are you done with your presentation for now? Because what I'll do is pull up your uh, speaker page so that they can see um, how simple it is to get your thank you gift and to go through your special offer. Because I'm visual, so you can talk all you want, but I need to see it. That's why I love presentations because I can just, you know, grab this and run with it. So I'm going to pull that page up. And, and Brandy, I would just like to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share something that I'm so passionate about. Well, you're awesome. I'm, I'm really excited that um, you're willing to get on and share this information with us. Well, you know, I've spent almost 50 years developing this, getting How myself How is that to possible when you're 27? <laughs> Great. Well, you have to remember, I, I, I started my pharmacy when I was 19, right? I, I was in, in Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia taking uh, three years of pharmacy. And I had the privilege of having a professor, a PhD. It's called the pharmacognosy, but actually he was a PhD in herbs. He taught herbology. Oh, I love it. That's how fortunate, and I've been studying herbology and nutrition and, and natural, all forms of natural medicine ever since that time. You know, so now I'm going to start. That's a great class right there. We've got to get her getting, I'm going to help her get online a lot more because her information is awesome. My master, my Reiki master and grid light worker that I work with is always giving me different herbs to use when I have certain symptoms, I'll just message her and she goes, oh, you want to use fennel for that. Oh, yeah, you got to get your time in there. And guys, I'm a real country girl. When I say country, like I built my own little, we took uh, pieces of cement and broke them up, made a little pathway. And in the middle of it, I put time, German time. Yeah, you know, my family's German yeah. heritage. And it's like, so I just go out there and, you know, it's beautiful, and you, you can grow these things anywhere, some of these herbs. So herbs are exciting to me, obviously. Okay, I took the screen share away from you because I want people to see your speaker page. Now, once again, if you're on the live stream on Facebook, teleartgathering.com forward slash Rosemarie Pierce. It's her entire name. For those of you, I'm, I'm going to turn my uh, camera on here. Do, 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 do. See, guys, I just gave you permission to just be casual and not worry about stuff. Um, that's me. I'm trying to find, I want to share it here. Anyway, it, it's all over the place. But what I want to do is just walk you through her speaker page so you can find a little bit more about her and why she's the horse. We love that picture of the horse, don't we? We do. I found that one and it's like, oh. Okay, so here's our interview topic that we just went through, and I'm going to make it so you can get the slides. So if you're registered for sure, I will send an email out, and I will upload them also to the Facebook um, Teleart Gathering page. But all you have to do is just click right here for her thank you gift. And then um, also she has this really 
awesome special offer. It's not a $200 special offer. It's not a $100 special offer. It's only $24. But this is what you get. You'll get a 30-minute live group call with her, just like this on Zoom. We love Zoom. Zoom makes it so you can have up to 50 people on. So, you're, you know, you're going to be able to get on there with her and she'll record it so you have it but what she's going to cover is like the things we were talking about today that how important it is for our ph balancing but i had no idea about that um and so you can see here what to eat and drink support weight loss you know maybe the next time you talk to me I'll say, oh, I only weigh 160. I went through a terrible menopause, Rosemary, and gained 70 pounds. So I wish I would have found her 10 years ago. But guess what? If I wouldn't have gone through all these sufferings, then I probably wouldn't have found her. So I always look at challenges in life. Just make it so you can help others. <laughs> um, boost your energy, support weight loss, detox and exercise programs, how to stay healthy and not get the flu and colds, muscle cramps, PMS symptoms, menopause. Um, I call it men on pause because uh, who wants a sweaty, fat, can't remember anything kind of a uh, grumpy person? <laughs> Guys, can you see, I just have a sense of humor. You're just supposed to laugh all the time. Life is just too tough otherwise. Thank you so much for the comments on the live stream. Thank you for all of you that stayed on the live stream. Please share this out so people can watch your recording and go to um, her uh, speaker page. Grab that thank you gift for sure, guys. Um, the chart alone, I'm excited about. Did you just see, I gave you options for gifts so you can go print that off and I, I mean I think you can buy lamination paper where you could laminate it yourself or put it in a slip sheet whatever uh, that's what I'm doing when we get off this call I'm actually just gonna send it to my printer because it's cheaper to pay like five or ten cents for a, a nice copy than to use all the ink up I got rid of my printer I don't use a printer at all anymore because I like hard copies and I ended up with a way too many three ring binders. I'm very organized, but I just stopped printing. So I'm sending mine to the printer, like Office Max or something like that, and they'll even laminate it. So for like a dollar, you could get that chart printed and laminated. So that's where the speaker page is. All of this will be up through February 12th for recording her special offer, grab that thank you gift right away, for sure. So, Rosemary, thank you so much. I'm going to stop the screen share and we'll pop on in here. I really want to thank you for taking the time, like I said. I find this fascinating. And at first, I'm kind of like, we're going to talk about peeing on paper? I, I, well, we'll go with it. I don't know. And now I'm like, now remember, we try to honor the time of an hour, and I'm like, well, geez, I could stay on here for like hours. So I'm gonna say, make sure to get that paper and then show up, and it'll be under events. And if you are in and already registered for the tele summit, the tele art gathering, then you will get an email also about when we will be doing these Q and A's. We're gonna pop on. It's gonna be like this, very casual, but get your questions answered. So you have time. You have like two weeks, I guess it would be. Um, yeah to get your paper, start peeing on it, and bring it to class. And if you're confused, you can just show her. <laughs> Hold the paper up there and she'll say, ooh, this is what and you then, do. And then next Monday is the first time I'm doing the live conference, the live Zoom conference call. So if people want to go into more depth with me, that would be the first time. And then I'm gonna do it again in, in February. In two weeks. Hey, so, Lori Kiesling Kohlberg jumping on. This was a really, really great topic, Lori. And um, uh, Lori, this will be good for her because you were talking about bone and how you can, uh, you know, build that back up. Yeah. So this is a this is just a great call. And you know what? If she gets so many of you registered um, that get her special offer, don't worry about it. I'm sure she would add a class for you because. She's passionate about helping everyone. Do you want to give them your website? Because I don't hold information, you know, sure. tight. That sure. they can go ahead and go out there. Yeah. So it's actually holistic-pharmacist.com. 
So if actually, if you just typed Rosemary Pierce and pharmacists into a search engine, you'll find me. But my web, yeah, my website is holistic with an H dash pharmacist.com. And there are articles on my website that I talk about um, just alkalizing the body, digestion. I've done a lot with hormones, which I'm also keen to talk to people about. So anyway, that is... Um, I've got just that, a ton of, a ton of uh, classes for you lined up right now in my mind. It's like, well, right there, women, hormones. I'm excited. I, I'm going to go to my uh, health food store today. <laughs> because I'm a member of a co-op and they have all really great stuff. We have two health food places, but I want to get that spirulina and that aloe vera stuff. I didn't know about that because I'm, I'm going to do it what you say, because I don't want to go back to that. It just once my nails are good again, but I, I've been taking calcium. Yeah, cal but calcium is not enough because you can actually end up end up with calcium in your in your as bone spurs or in your arteries. So it's potassium and magnesium and alkalizing, getting on the foods on that food chart, and adding in le lemon drinks. And um, my lemon drink, by the way, when people go on my website, will see it's called Morning Rise and Shine. <laughs> I never thought I'd give my parents some strips to pee on, but <laughs> everybody in my family is going to be getting pee strips because she's helping me with my mom. And I really appreciate that because I don't care who you are. If you're on 16 pills a day, you're going to have, you know, because it's like side effect here. And then this one's a side effect. And I really um, appreciate you that you've helped me. And guys, she really knows what she's talking about. Let me see, day 10, day 10, no sinus issues. And I walked around since about 1990. If I went one or two days without feeling I had ice picks in my head. Um, so thank you so much for that advice. Well, um, one of the things, Brandy, just to finish, just to talk about that one quick second. One of the things is, is to have a lot of knowledge. A person can gather all of the book knowledge and experience you want. And another is to be able to curtail it to an individual. And because I'm also a medical intuitive, that's what I did with you. Like I would have sent you in different directions for sinuses other than the vinpositine we talked about. But I could tell that it was affecting your thinking oh. and your circulation and and so i went right to the circulation for that i was so like when, this she said affecting my thinking who could think i'm like i i just don't feel good today <laughs> and literally it was like within two hours i went yeah. to my mom and i said and i'm happy all the time it has a happy pill side effect i swear it does because it does. like well, you must yeah. be over your menopause. And I'm like, well, I'm happy. I don't know. But I wanted to say the note that you told me. If you are uh, have blood thinner or low blood pressure, you said, so don't just go take stuff. That's why you want an expert. So what if they exactly. want to work? This isn't even on the series special or anything, but I think it's really important. What if they wanted to do some one on work with you? Like, you know, you've helped me. Um, yeah. Do you have that option available, or do we need to get that set up? I'll talk to Amanda. Yeah. Um, yes, I do have that option as a, as a, as an opt-in, and and people from Telark will get a discount if they wanted to do a one on. And um, they yeah, they could connect through my website um, with that. I'll get my daughter, who's my little uh, expert. Uh, I mean, besides her being such an intuitive, she's also just so uh, technically aware and a good techie for me. And so, she's and fun. I like her. We hung out. I will be working with her somehow as a joint venture because she's just fun. But girlfriend, you're going to be getting sick of me because I've already got like three classes in my mind lined up yeah. and I like to help people get, get together for March. Do we have room in March? <laughs> you know what? We do. And I'm going to send you some dates because um, what we could send a survey out. Let's, let's talk about three topics, women in menopausal 
stuff. Well, you know, what, you know, because I have, I have two things that are so basic and I apply them to everything. I'd like to cover the second one and that's digestive health. What's going on in our gut? How do we heal our gut? What do we need to avoid? How do we need to support getting those nutrients in? Because if people do this pH paper and they can't get their pH raised, even if they're doing other things, I'm going to go to their gut to heal it because there's most likely the inability to absorb. And so if we could do gut issues next, I would have landed a key Gut piece. issues, guys. There we go. You know, I remember like 20 years ago them saying that um, my grandpa always grew apples and we had apple trees. And they yeah. said that you can think you're eating healthy, but that because of the depletion of the soil and everything that's happened is that it would take a hundred apples to get the nutrition of one apple from a hundred years ago. And I just remember it. See, I got God bumps all over. So he's like, yes, that was a good thing you said. So you think you're eating healthy and you're eating organic, but you, you know, you, unless you're growing it yourself and you actually our balance. Know the soil. Know the soil. Yeah. You've got to know the soil or you're eating that apple and boy, it tastes good, but you're really getting nothing out of it. So, okay. She's going to be in the next one then too. <laughs> See how tough well, I am? <laughs> I've had so much fun. I'd love to be there. We could do this again, but it'll be just a totally different take. We'll work from the digestive system. Yeah. And I give everybody permission to be casual because as you can see, I'm very casual and that's important to me. It's about getting the information out and you know you're in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing when it's just fun. Like this isn't work to me and I know this isn't work to you because when you can talk about it forever, that's when you're in alignment. So we want to get the brain fog cleared and then the gut cleared and then you guys will be healthy. And the connection between the brain and what's going on in the digestive system, it is so huge. This is where this whole animal totem for me comes in because the animal represents, the, the horse represents this animal that uses its thoughts and its sensory feeling through its gut. Wow. And it picks up so much. I, I had horses for 20 years. My other daughter, who is also into nutrition and health, we had this love of horses and the, the sensitivity of the horse. So I'm, I want to hold on to my horse totem. And, and I, you get to hold on to your horse totem. And I used to like um, help my friend had Arabians and we would ride on those. And let me tell you, a free spirit, when they say free spirit, there is nothing like going fast on a horse that's running full bore. And they're so oh. beautiful. When I think of horses, I think of freedom. And yes. what are you doing to people? You're giving them freedom for their life because yes. you're getting them healthy. So the horse totem just keeps having more synchronicities of what's going on very much, very All much so. right. hey Stuart I want to thank Stuart Zoll because he always shows up for my live streams and I really appreciate that a lot so I may not be seeing people face to face Lori always shows up too Don Rose you always show up so it makes me feel good that people are getting this information and like I said, you can just go out to her speaker page. And if you're signed up, you'll get an email. And uh, but a bing, but a boom. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to stop our live stream. You can say goodbye before I do. And then I'll stop that recording, too. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. So glad to have been on this call. Look forward to doing more. Have a great, blessed day.